Hello and welcome aboard Train Sim World 4 and um, okay, the route that I'm going to be doing today that is uh, unable to be completed and go to trains, choose a route and the route is Mantelbahn, Aschaffenburg, Milton Bag. Uh, timetable scenario uh, using the train BR642DB. Okay, and we're gonna do, let's see, it's uh, 23390. Uh, yeah, RE8723390. Uh, the name of the route is Wehr Time to Aschaffenburg, Hafbahnhof. It starts at uh, 1505. It's a passenger service to um, from from Maltenburg to Aschaffenburg. It's hit with the red light bug, so gonna start it here. Okay, here we are um, with the title card, as I call it. So let's get started. Now we have to wait for the. Uh, red light because there's a train coming down it's going to be a bit a uh, few minutes before it gets down here let's get our um, main switch uh, master switch um, on let's put the reverse into forward unlock the doors make sure our headlights are on Yep, headlights are on. Um, instrument lights on. Uh, brighten them up a little bit because it's um, kind of sunny out. Uh, for the most part, uh, this is all ready to go. There's really not much else for me or anyone that is attempting to do this uh, route. Actually, I could turn this off because um, the consist parking brake is on. And while the doors are open, a train won't go anywhere anyway. So let's see if that train is on its way down yet. Because it takes a bit, uh, quite a bit of time to get down. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. We'll see it coming across that bridge there. I believe that was it. There is another station um, that it had. That you, it's also a uh, player, um, a player scenario that can be completed. Lock the doors. Can't go anywhere until that train comes down. And why we have a red light right now. Yep, there it comes. Okay, as soon as that train passes, uh, we'll get a yellow light in to uh, proceed with caution, and eventually we'll get a green light as we go along. But this route cannot be, this particular route cannot be completed. There we go, it is our red light, uh, yellow light rather. So. Oh, it won't, so it won't even let me throttle up. Okay. Oh, I'm applying the brakes. There we go. We got the green light. Yep, I oversped a little bit. That's okay, because can't finish the scenario anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. But you really shouldn't um, be looking to speed when you're... Because these are real-world routes. If I knew I could complete the scenario, the route, completely, then I would restart it because I oversped. I mean, I, I do it, but I do believe that in, um, in Germany and the UK, uh, they have pretty strict rules against uh, using the horn and in Germany you um, you must drive five miles 
five kilometers per hour below the speed limit. So here it's 120, you should be doing 115, maybe even, you know, uh, 114, 113, um, because of the safety margins and uh, because of PZB, because you cannot disengage it in, in the real world. There you are. Stop. Our first stop is coming up, and that's where the red light bug hits you. Okay, we got a caution light coming up and the speed reduction. I do not have PZB or CIFA on. That six indicates 60 miles an hour, or kilometers per hour, rather. I get below that before I even re reach the, um, the posted uh, speed reduction or speed increase if you are going to be increasing your speed. It's a little bit different uh, when you're increasing speed. As a rule of thumb, uh, even in the real world, you, uh, you should be prepared to already be at that speed limit, 60 in this case, before you even reach the, uh, at the point where you should be. Another uh, signal marker. Let me just slow down a little bit more. Mm, here comes our stop. doors, apply the parking brake, and there's a station, and first stop, and we lock the doors and sit here. Take note of the time, it's uh, 15.19, now because this is a single track, that's shared with multiple routes. There's your um, go via location marker. And there's a train that we're waiting for to come down, is the way it's supposed to go. If everything was working properly. And there's a station here. And in between here, there's another station. But as you can see, it's got quite a bit of ways to go. That train is up here where I'm pointing. So there's a lot of waiting time for that train to come down. that train travel so far. Oh, it's still sitting there. Okay. So it's still sitting there. And there's no way that we can go. So we have to wait. Everything worked as it should. We, like me and the mouse in my pocket, have to wait for this train. Because this is where the tracks diverge. And if everything, like I said, if everything worked as it should, the train would stop at this station, and then we'd get a green light, and we can go. But that's not going to happen, so. But I do want to show what happens. And here we are already, um, going on five minutes behind schedule. So the timing uh, would... Uh, with the train that you're you're driving, or I am driving now, and the AI train that's coming down is out of sync, if you will, because I've already waited this long. I'm already uh, late for the for the next uh, station stop, and even if I went through this red light, I wouldn't make make it very far because. The AI controls the switches and junctions. I know that because I've tried it and it just turned into a real disaster. Then it didn't derail, 
They didn't crash, no derail. It just, it basically, I got sandwiched up between several AI trains, and there was just no way to complete the scenario. And going through the red light is not the right way to do the route anyway, because you wouldn't be able to do that in the real world. And that's what this is modeled after. So the station itself is pretty big. It's on both sides of the road. This is one half of the station. And the other half is here where I am with my train. Still waiting. I'm going on 10 minutes behind schedule. Let's see, did it move yet? There it comes. Hmm. Destination board is uh, turned off this time. Hmm. But that is another, um, that is another train that you, the player, can take over. And now this train is stuck here. There's another scenario that you can complete. Uh, that's if it is completable. I don't, I don't know, I haven't looked. So here we are, I'm back in my train. And the clock works because there is no double track once you get past where you saw the train come down. So once you get past that level crossing, it's a single share track and there's no way to, if I were to go, it wouldn't work, as I said. So, And here I sit and that AI train is gonna sit there and the one behind me is gonna sit there because of the red light bug. Even if you try to contact signaler, denied. Wait for signal to change, and it never changes. Okay, it's now officially 20 minutes that I am behind schedule. So clearly this is a red light bug. It's been like this for several months now and there have been patches and updates to the game and this has not been fixed. Will it get fixed? I don't know. It'd be nice if it did get fixed, but I guess time will tell. But along with many other routes uh, that may fall into this red light bug. I'm not going to be the bug tracker for Dovetail Games or Focus Entertainment or for the, the mother company Pull Up because they really do need to figure out what the problem is and correct it. I, we, everyone who plays Train Sim World would not have spent the time, money, and effort to have what we do have. I have all of TSW3, all of TSW2, all of TSW2020, and all of TSW4. Because I do enjoy it. I have fun. I like it. It's not right. It really isn't. I, as well as everyone else who enjoys the game, it's not just me, but all of us have spent a fair amount of money on Train Sim World as a whole because there are four iterations and these DLCs are not an inexpensive. There's cost involved here and in some cases a lot of cost. I mean, some of these DLCs are, are costing what you could buy a full-blown game at, not just an add-on, but a full game. And I have. And if this is the way things are going to go, then this this is going to go the way of the dodo bird. It's just a matter of time. 
Yes, I understand. The game developers and Dovetail Games, they, they, in order to continue providing a good pro a product, and many times it is a good product, they need to be, you know, they need to be compensated. And I'm, I, have, I don't begrudge them that. But also, it's the, the steady release of a new core game where the bugs just keep coming along with it. And sometimes the, uh, the quality control leads you to wonder. And many have already jumped ship. And I'm not the only one saying this. There are people who have been talking, talking about all the things that need to get fixed and promises broken long before I came. All you have to do is read through the Dovetail forums. Plain and simple. They made a good product here. For the most part, it's a good product. It really is. I like the way everything is, and it needs a lot of improvement. But you know what? I know I rambled off a lot here, and I'm not speaking for everyone. I only speak for myself. But if you look at the Dovetail Games forums, there are many people that are saying the same thing I did, or have said. And nothing is done in malice or in hate. Because if we didn't enjoy the game, if we didn't like the game, we wouldn't be discussing it, sometimes a, a bit uh, passionately. We wouldn't be talking about it and discussing it and wanting it to be a better train simulating game. And that's what it comes down to. I mean, we just want it to be good. We want it to be better and we want it to improve. And this is why we talk about it. And if, and if we, the gamers, that is a fairly large base, I mean, I'm not going to get into all of that, but if we don't discuss it and voice our concerns and likes and dislikes, then how will the game developers and Dovetail Games as a distributor, will, how would they know that uh, where, the, where we stand? A lot of what I said here is basically that's it. And um, I'll close this out here. If you made it this far and you listened to me ramble, thank you for being here. I appreciate it for you stopping by. I appreciate that you took the time to sit here and listen to me yap because nothing very interesting here. And um, leave your thoughts, your comments down below in the description. Share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Good, bad, and different. I welcome constructive criticism and uh, smash that thumbs up likes button or not. Your choice, but you know, it uh, doesn't cost, it won't cost you anything. Subscribe and share and ring the bell. This way you know when I do post uh, another video. With all that said and done, take care. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And y'all come back now, you hear? Bye-bye for now.